I got to call out the BS. <clears throat> now, I got a lot of topics I can talk about. You know, I've been hauling my ass off, trying to keep my head above water in these um, troubling economic times. I got hit with a brick. Send me, send me $50,000. You know, why don't you send this hardworking brother $50,000, you know, who actually busting his ass and not crying and making false allegations of DV. Why don't you help them in? Well, is it, since y'all can give these heifers, especially a non-FBA block hoffa, who really is anti-FBA and has disrespected a lot of you melanated heifers and a lot of you man, a lot of you BMs, black men, especially you simps. Why don't you donate money to people who really need it and actually are deserving of it? And especially the people who speak with tr truth to power, people who are really struggling. Ask your, your content creator because pe there's people who say, you know, I love what you do, Big Boss Calvin. Calvin, you know, the real Big Boss Calvin. But I don't get no donation. Where, and, you know, to help me do what I got to do. I guess I'm not entertaining enough. Or what is it? As I don't understand is y'all will get these heifers money. You women will give these dudes who lead you astray like Derek Jackson money. But when it comes to a brother, a real one, y'all don't want to support. Y'all don't want to. This I say I can't stand black folk. I can't stand black American. A black, black America. K -k -k. I can't stand black America. A bunch of hypocrites. As far as this, you know, I'm, I'm watching um, Blade Runner. Kid um, Don Mega. Shout out to Kid Organic. Um, and, it, and his commentary of the science of black comedians and actors dressing like women, particularly black men in dresses. And here's my take. I didn't even get, I didn't even get to, I'm at the 20 minute mark of the, of the live stream. That I'm, it's, a, it's a playback. Um, Cat Williams said nothing new. Cat Williams didn't say nothing new or profound. You got to understand a lot of these black public figures, these black celebrities, black Hollywood. It's a distraction. Why are they pushing Cat Williams? Why are they put, trying to act like they're exposing something when it's actually been it's public knowledge, common knowledge at this point? Why are they acting like they're exposing something that I think a lot of people choose not to know? If and when you ask me. To me. Y'all talk about, we talk about black masculinity. Either it's, so the man who don't put on the dress is toxic masculinity. But the man who puts on the dress or, you know, you know, he's romantic. I'm speaking to you black heifers. You black you BWs. We can't wait for losing. Y'all talk about y'all, y'all want, you, you don't like mama's boys, but you um, son husband, your sons. Y'all be best be besties with your daughters. I'm seeing videos of little girls twerk and be all rash and, and horse. How can you devalue your black women and girls? I told you black women don't care about black women and girls. Black women don't care about the black community. I told you the biggest race traitors are BWs. I'm not and don't you come at me. If you're not that way, you should not be mad at me. You should actually support me. If that's not you, shut up. But my got a question. Why are you in complicity of the likes of Cynthia G? Yeah, okay, Cynthia G's channel is shut down. She's been banned off of social, social media. But I'm seeing playbacks. Of, I'm seeing clips of her Patreon. And as far as Cynthia G, Cynthia, Cynthia G is not who she is. She's a hurt heifer who got burnt and I'm not defending I'm not I don't take pleasure in seeing her hurt her feelings are hurt I fuck with Rob do I agree with him a lot of stuff he say no but I just stuff I do agree when it comes to this revolutionary stuff he does make sense he calls out this anti-black behavior that black people do which I do that's why y'all don't that's why y'all don't like me either okay <laughs> But I'm not taking no advice on his health and fitness. And, you know, he got multiple tattoos and he's like, like I, I, drinking tap water and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with drinking tap water. I'm like, nah, nah, bro, nah, bro. You, you do you on that. 
You got a thousand tattoos. I can't listen to you on no health and fitness. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, brother. But even when it comes to the whole black men, you know, when there's a lot of deadbeat moms out here and a lot of women leaving their families and abandoning their children, they kidnap the children and, and, and really alienate the father. That's some deadbeat whole shit. But, you know, don't get... It, what does that got to do with what you talk about, Calvin? <clears throat> Everything's connected. I always hear BWs, FBA, American BWs talk about there's no real men out here. And it was really disrespectful when y'all, when many of you women talk about what a real or man is and you don't got no man or you got multiple failed, failed relationships and it's always the man's fault. You don't take no accountability, no personal responsibility. And that bothers me. And you wonder why you got men who, and this is so sad, you got many black men signing up to get passports. Regardless of these men are going, can afford, have the means to travel overseas or not, or travel to have a quick getaway, it's still alarming. And you should take that seriously. Why there's so many brothers? Because you had Caucasian males being the biggest passport bros. Y'all never say nothing about these white males and, and all that criminal stuff they do overseas. They're criminals everywhere. Y'all never say nothing about the Asian dude, all the criminal stuff, especially the Asians who are doing criminal stuff in Africa, the East Indians. Y'all never call those passport bro males out. But when a black man says, you know, I, I, I'm enough is enough, now y'all want to talk about it. See, this is the anti-black stuff that I'm talking about. You got women who like guys who are anti-black misandrists. You like these black male misandrists, and they are, are really are these black male hyenas. And they are a problem, and we need to call them out too. Just like we gotta start calling out these bitter men. We can't, we gotta be, we gotta keep it balanced. I can call out the women in their BS, but I gotta call out these simps. Sprinkle, sprinkle wouldn't be where she's at if we didn't have a bunch of whole ass niggas. See, see, sprinkle, sprinkle, you know, if I was her husband. That shit, that 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 sugar honey iced tea stuff would not be tired. She would not be popping off, popping off, popping off at her mouth, leading her these young girls and her even her own daughters astray, with teaching them to be prostitutes, hoes and tricks. Okay, I got we got to call out a lot of these these frauds out here on social media, and y'all got these. They're not gurus. Do not. I don't trust none of them. I don't trust now if they are about living what they're talking. And they moving out there in real life. That then I support them. But back on this whole thing, black y'all talk about black men. Y'all tired of black men wearing dresses? Black male celebrities, and public figures wearing dresses? No, you're not. Because too many of you BWs actually like the videos. I'm seeing y'all complain about there's no real men. Men are effeminate. There's no masculine men. Y'all called out Kevin Samuels. Okay, y'all agree with some of y'all stuff you're saying about Kevin Samuels. But yet you still support black males. Who engage in minstrel shows, BS, wearing dresses, and so many women are liking it. Y'all cash yapping, y'all sending super chats, PayPal, and these niggas. These, these moist niggas. But yet, I told you a lot of these women like weak males. It's all about control. That's why they buck break the. This is, so a lot of the, the, so the, the FBA, BW, supports buck breaking. <laughs> they support women being fit. Um, 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 being robbed of the femininity, they support women de being degenerates. What's crazy, my pro? They support women supporting the anti-black system. The reason why I get on the women because women are supporters, and when women support evil, we have a problem here. If they were supporting good people, good guys, choosing good guys from Jump Street, we wouldn't have this conversation. A lot of these women support wickedness. Y'all don't want a righteous man. You don't want a man who stands on. Revolution, stand on morals and integrity and principle. Y'all want to get the fuck out of here with a stand on business. What's we'll stand on pride, black folk? Revolution, you know, you know how you know those white folk be st that stormed the Capitol because they stood up for what they believe in. When y'all gonna start? When y'all gonna start taking page out a, a whole book, the whole chapters out of those at, at that book of revolution of standing on what matters. You women are not, not opposed to men wearing dresses because you still support guys and y'all love gay males. Y'all love the alphabet community. So you're not against homosexuality. And a lot of y'all are big, the biggest homosexuals. 
That's why y'all get mad at me because I call out what's real. You change yourselves, people.